Hello, welcome aboard the good ship Mo Lee. Today is 177 of the figure eight voyage 2.0 and our position is 42 south and roughly 42 west, interestingly enough. We're about a thousand miles north and east of the Falkland Islands by this point, about a thousand miles offshore, headed northeast roughly. And uh, as you can see, what is it, March 30th and early fall down here, but it is just gorgeous. Beautiful sunshine, 66 degrees in the cabin, about 15 knots of wind out of the north-northwest. We're close hauled, full sail, making okay to nice speeds, and it is just lovely. I don't have a big jacket on, I don't have a hat on. When was the last time you saw me in a video without a hat on? I just don't recall when that was, it was so long ago. But we're beginning to warm up a bit, and I thought today would be a perfect day to celebrate, with a little bit of bubbles, our rounding of Cape Horn. That was a full 10 days ago now. Uh, seems like forever, especially given the weather now. But think of it, 110 days uh, from Cape Horn rounding number one to Cape Horn rounding number two, 15,000 miles, almost all of it below 45 south. Uh, it was, uh, there were times, I have to admit, there were times I wasn't sure that I could make it. I knew the boat could make it, but boy, that was, it was really stressful just being there and being vulnerable uh, those many months. But we made it, did it well, made it in good time. Uh, I was a little bit uh, shaky there at the end, uh, passing north of Diego Ramirez. I felt kind of a bit of a fool that morning uh, after having written an article about how in heavy weather one should go south of those islands, and then I had decided to go north and got heavy weather. Big, big rolling seas, heavy, steep. Uh, I wasn't sure we could pull through that, but we did. And then uh, we approached Cape Horn, fog cleared, and we got another just beautiful, beautiful shot of one of the most beautiful rocks in the world. So. We've done it. We've actually been around the Southern Ocean, below the Great Capes, below Cape Horn twice, and are now headed north. So, today we celebrate having done that. So, give me a second here to open up. I want to thank Jim Walter at Amphora Wines for the bubbles. Oh, come on. This poor bottle's been around. <laughs> Woohoo! Splash. I almost hit a prion. So, the second thing to celebrate today is that as of tomorrow, Mo and I will have been continuously underway for six months. Pardon. Oh, pardon, I haven't had sparkling wine in a long time. Six months at sea. Six months moving. It's hard to imagine actually that the boat has been moving through the water for a full six months. 24 hours a day. Go, go, go. And clearly she's not done. But I just want to just praise the boat. The boat has just been fantastic. Uh, little repairs here and there but well, she just goes and goes and it's so tough. There were times during some of the blows in the south but I just felt like the boat was coming apart. It was so loud below. When, the, when Mo falls off a sea uh, into the trough, man, it is just incredible. And you just have to thank the builders, Dubal and Jesse, for such excellent welding. In any case, so, cheers. We still have Southern Ocean birds, aplenty. Wandering albatross, the molly mocks. Uh, the chocolate brown white chinned petrels, uh, the, the prions, and I'm curious to see where they peel off. But every day there are a couple of albatross just off here to starboard. We had clouds of prions around the boat yesterday. Beautiful. Lovely to watch them. They don't ever seem to land, ever. Night and day they fly, fly, fly. In any case, so what's next for Mo and Randall? We are trending north in the Atlantic into virgin territory for me never sailed in the Atlantic before and we're heading to St. John Newfoundland which is uh, pretty far north I actually don't know the latitude I'll have to look it up but I can tell you that from here it is roughly about 7,000 miles north so I'm figuring on the order of about 60 days we have uh, some very serious calms to get through lots of lovely trade winds but we're about to sail into a big blue hole uh, in the next day or two and then we have the ITCZ to get across so it's going to be a while, 
probably 60 days before we get to Newfoundland. Hoping around June 1st is the rough arrival time. And then, from there, we depart for the Arctic. I'd like to be in Upper Greenland, probably in the neighborhood of Upernavik by late July, and ready to enter the Arctic. The Arctic doesn't usually, as if there is a usually, open uh, until the first week of August, but I would like to be staged and ready. So that's our next couple of objectives. Thanks for following along. There will be lots more adventure to come. We have lots and lots of miles with ice and rugged mountains uh, with excellent photographic opportunities. So I hope you'll stick around and keep following. Thank you very much and uh, safe sailing.